Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have five dropping 9.8 comics I would be buying now. Yeah, these ones are falling in price. Uh, I do have these ones in my collection as well. If not, I would pretty much be out there uh, trying to buy them. So uh, the first one up, it's uh, X-Men number 121, or Uncanny X-Men 121. First full appearance of Alpha Flight. A pretty great key issue in this uh, awesome era of uh, X-Men comic books. Probably my, one of my favorite eras of comic books ever is the uh, kind of John Byrne, Terry Austin, Chris Claremont uh, era of Uncanny X-Men comics. Great cover on this one as well. You know what, any kind of key issue would suffice, like whatever your budget is sort of in this range. For um, X-Men 121, I recently saw one sell on a Comic Link auction for $1,476. That's a pretty great price. They had sort of cooled down to $1,700 maybe, you know, three to six months ago from an even higher price during COVID. But uh, $1,476, under $1,500, I think, if you can get a nice look in uh, X-Men 121 in a 9.8. It's a, a totally worth it at this cooling down price. There's a 391 9.8s in the blue label, 11.3% the 9.8 ratio. So pretty old book, but still a pretty awesome 9.8 ratio on uh, this one. So I mentioned kind of any Uncanny X-Men key will suffice. Like another one I got that's great is uh, Uncanny X-Men 141, Days of Future Past Part 1. Um, yeah, and that one, probably a little bit less, I think. Uh, what was it? I saw one sell for $950, $1,132 on an Uncanny 141 if, if you wanted to uh, check out that one. All right, next one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one. Yeah, some, uh, the prices on this one just kind of, each one I see sort of sell in an auction, it just continually is a lower price, a lower price, a lower price. But uh, I really like this one. It's the first time you get the four colored bandana Ninja Turtles in um, uh, uh, comic books. And uh, first appearance of Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang. Yeah, I have the signature series in the Canadian edition. Yeah, luckily in a 9.8. Uh, there's a 427 9.8 of uh, the Ninja Turtle Adventures. Number one, 21.2%, the ratio, which is a lot lower than it used to be. When I first kind of loved this book and wanted it in a 9.8, there was like 200 in the 9.8, and the ratio was like 40-something. So just a, a lot getting graded over the last few years with this one uh, being a pretty great one, I think. Uh, so prices, recent price, an auction, the lowest I've saw in a very long time on this one, $482.77. Uh, not too long ago, like about a month ago, I saw one sell for $550.61. But $482, I, I think if this one could kind of settle in right around $400 in a blue label we're talking about. Uh, I don't have the blue label one yet, unfortunately, but if it kind of settles in right around $400, I would uh, be really interested in adding just the normal uh, direct edition blue label. Uh, for a Ninja Turtles Adventures number one would go as a good uh, uh, companion book to this one. And even in the Blue Label Direct Edition, this one was 1,200, 1,300 at the peak of COVID. So uh, cooling down so much, but a really cool one that I still really like. We'll put this one over here. Okay, uh, next one is uh, G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero. Number one is a pretty big uh, no-brainer, especially if you're a G.I. Joe fan. It's done well over time as a comic book to invest in as well. Been on a roller coaster though. Um, it's actually been hanging in there for, let's say, like, you know, the last six months, maybe even about a year. It's been pretty close to a similar price. Uh, there's 734 9.8s in the blue label, 14.9%. The 9.8 ratio, a recent sale price, 1360 so, you know, during COVID and there was like the Snake Eyes movie during that time, a few of these went for like $3,000, $4,000, like some of these absolutely ridiculous prices. So it's absolutely fallen in price from that point, although it's forming a nice little base here. I think the lowest I've saw them go was like 1,100 and something, a few going 1,250, uh, most recent one on Comic Link, 1,360. So, you know, uh, if it's just a great looking copy, and, you know, nice centering. I do have a really nice one, yeah. 
Um, I think actually probably this 1,360 price uh, seems fair to me. And you know, did done well over time, I mentioned. This is one I just picked it up before the comic books really started heating up. It was like April of 2020 for uh, $399.99. Yeah, it was a buy it now from uh, 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 a store. Yeah, I think it was West Coast Collectibles in Canada. And uh, yeah, obviously it went on that <laughs> incredible roller coaster, but still up a great amount. Um, you know, with the, this cooling down. And I think right around, yeah, 1,360, 1,250, you know, if you wanted to be a little strategic for a really nice copy in a 9.8, it would be a great uh, G.I. Joe collector item, I think. And yeah, one you just want to consider, kind of a no-brainer as the price is cooled down here. Next one, uh, Silver Surfer, 44. Yeah, first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. Certainly like a pretty cooling down book from when the Infinity Gauntlet was in all the Avengers movies and Avengers Endgame, uh, in, in Avengers Endgame. Uh, this book did well during that period, but um, yeah, I think now uh, it was certainly higher during COVID, fallen in price a little bit. I do think the Infinity Gauntlet, um, it, it kind of does have a bit of a timeless appeal, and I just think it's, you know, one you probably want to buy, not thinking that, oh, the Infinity Gauntlet's going to be in a bunch of movies moving forward, like probably not. They were already in all the movies, but uh, just a great one, I think, that, you know, an Infinity Gauntlet, like they had all those toys for the kids, like all these kids know what Infinity Gauntlet is. So I think it's just one to have over time. A, a great collector item too, 331, 9.8s in a blue label. So you'd think like with all those Avengers movies, there'd be way more than 331 in a 9.8 graded. I think it shows it's, it's a pretty tough one. 20.5%, the 9.8 ratio, pretty decent ratio for early 90s book recent sales price 390 or 369 dollars sorry there's one on a uh, comic link right now i'm watching i think it's like at 320 something with uh two days left maybe it is uh so i'll be watching to see what the, what that one sells at but i think 369 maybe up to 400 for a really nice uh, looking uh, centered one i think uh, makes sense yeah was, so this one's the newsstand version i was able pretty tough to find the newsstand in this one so when i saw this one from uh, someone on the team out there, I just kind of jumped on it, and uh, I'm not too sure how this one, much of this one would go for in the newsstand. Uh, I, I did see um, what is it, an Uncanny X Men 221 First Mister Sinister in a newsstand sell for $770 a couple days ago. So this is probably just a little bit more preferred over that book. There's not as many 9.8s uh, for the Silver Surfer 44 as that book, so this one's probably about $1,000 I would say in the newsstand. If that, uh, you know, first Mr. Sinister in the newsstand's going for seven seventy, uh, but even in the direct edition, kind of in that three fifty to four hundred range, I think it's just a great one. You get a lot of pride of ownership out of this one. I do really like the cover, like a super kind of early '90s cover for sure. And uh, I think uh, Infinity Gauntlet will, will do good over time. Okay, and uh, last one here is uh, a Batman Adventures Mad Love. It's a great one in a, the super high grade 9.8. And my opinion on this one is, I think it's gonna start to maybe separate itself a little bit from a Batman Harley Quinn. Uh, I think this is the better high grade one in a 9.8 and they're about the same price, but there's maybe, you know, I think we're, we're seeing some cracks here that maybe that's all, already starting to happen. Because, you know, all of last year, and when I had purchased mine for $400, it was, yeah, it was 400 bucks. Uh, the Batman Harley Quinn, they were selling for like 500, 550. So this was always a little bit cheaper. I thought it was the better value. Uh, we'll get into prices for all of them because uh, I did see a recent price for that Batman Harley Quinn book. That's a, pr a pretty cool and off price. There's a 306, 9.8 in, in the Mad Love though, 16.8%, the 9.8 ratio, tough black cover. Yeah, this, uh, even some of the 9.8s you see them and it's, they're not very desirable because they got like scuffs all over or you could see a nick or two. But uh, I actually really made sure to get a nice, uh, you know, pretty flawless looking one with that uh, deep black cover. Uh, so uh, a few prices. I saw one sell for uh, $749 or best offer on eBay. There weren't very many uh, recent eBay sales, unfortunately. You go back a little bit more, I saw one sell for $745. I think that, you know, $750 OBO probably went for $650 or, you know, maybe even closer to $600. That was a more recent sale, but um, 
uh, Batman, uh, Batman Harley Quinn. Saw 9.8 on a comic link sell on that one for $482. And that one was going for like 900. Yeah, right, you know, kind of the Batman movie was out during that period. 900 on a Batman Harley Quinn. Uh, quite a few of them went in a 9.8. So an auction on that one going for 482. The market is kind of cooling down. And I feel like Batman Adventures Mad Love isn't cooling down that much. Although I am, it is kind of tough to find some recent sales, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, even if this get, I think if this gets down to the 500 level, like, you know, if you could maybe even get it at 482, uh, I think a Mad Love is a great buy. And I do think over time, um, yeah, like 16.8% the 9.8 ratio. On a Mad Lover, on a Mad Love is uh, pretty great for a 1990s key issue, and uh, the Batman Harley Quinn. I think it's got over a thousand of them in a 9.8, and nothing too special about the ratio. So, um, yeah, again, I just think if you had to choose between the two, I do love the Mad Love and a like classic Bruce Tim cover. I feel like origin of Harley Quinn, second overall appearance. I feel in some ways it's even better than Batman Adventures 12, even though that one's the one to get and it. It's more tougher in a, in a 9.8. It's way more expensive as well. But yeah, Batman Adventures Mad Love is kind of a sweet spot, I think, in the uh, Harley Quinn uh, collecting in the 9.8s. All right, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, just uh, kind of like going over these books that are falling in price. Some of them, <laughs> you know, luckily I do have in my collection. And just kind of thinking, like, which ones do I feel like if I didn't have them, I would really be out there buying. So uh, yeah, these are, these are fun ones to make. I've been doing... Similar type of videos uh, recently. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. As always though, team, I will uh, see you on the next one. If you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell and I'll keep you updated on future videos.